IHRA Jet Dragster Champion. I'm, that's right, drives a jet. <clears throat> it's just a rolling chassis. And uh, she's the best in the world. We've got Elaine Larson with us. Woo-hoo, in the house. And, yes, she, I haven't seen your voice for a while since we've seen each other. I can't. It's been a couple of years. Uh, yeah, since, uh, since uh, I've been able to see you race. But uh, uh, ran last night, ran at 272, yeah. 580 for a good coffee. Yeah. That's a great lap yeah, here. Yeah. And uh, uh, two times, I turned world champion. That's never run a drag girl. And I was, I was honored enough that I, I was born in Pittsburgh. So I got to see you win your two world championships. Yeah. That was, it was pretty exciting. We kind of followed each other all over the United States. We kind of figured out. Yeah. Yeah. So now, uh, uh, tell us a little about what all you guys do. We've got four of them. Absolutely. Well, first, I'm going to kind of tell you what a jet dragster is. Yeah. <laughs> it is just like a regular chassis, except we put a jet engine off from a fighter jet on my car. Um, it's a General Electric J85 off from an F5 or a T38. Now, that sounds fun, except we put our own custom afterburner on there to double the power. We can go 0 to 100 in just a little over a second, and we're hitting speeds of 270, 280 in about five and a half seconds. The car only weighs about 1,450 pounds filled with this old gal in it, um, and we get to have a lot of fun. But the best part is, the best part is, is we get to shoot a lot of fire, a lot of smoke, and we get to shake, rattle, and roll all of these stands and all these fans and get them on their feet and have a lot of fun. And that, as a matter of fact, the contest we had uh, at the race was called the Shake, Rattle, and Roll, where we were going to shake your body and rattle your brain and roll your eyes back and and our winner got started. Right now. So they're going to be able to stand up there later tonight while you're doing it. So you want extra crisp? Yes, we do. That's okay. again. Send our winners back. You know, we don't want original. We want to make it extra crisp. Now, what makes it unique amongst other jet drive that are out there is you guys actually build it. We do. We do everything from the concept design to full-on fabrication, and we do the day-to-day and we don't do them with, like, you know, people who've been in a business for years and years. I think what sets us apart is that we work with that next generation, these young kids who think that they want to get things done. Some of them have a lot of experience. Some of them have never touched a torque wrench before. They don't even know what a torque wrench is. You know what I mean? So it's really cool to be able to get these kids that have a dream, have a want, have a passion, and put them right in the heat, put them right out there on the start line. And when I won the world championship, I ran one with a girl, Paige Sanchez. She's a mechanical engineer for Florida Institute of Technology. She was my crew chief. Her and I weren't always the biggest. We weren't always the baddest. And we were definitely not always the fastest. But this girl power team, baby, oh, baby, we never messed up. We dotted all I's and crossed all T's. And we got that hot rod down the track, and it was a good day. And, and, and that's one of the things that is kind of unique about your team team, you got four cars, is you have female crew chiefs, and there's no other class in racing right now that has a female crew chief, but you guys do, and you know, I mean, it's, it's jet cars, so you, well, it's not rocket, rocket science, but actually it is, it is. because through your sponsor, Florida Institute of Technology, you're teaching or helping these kids, like you said, mechanical engineers, structural engineers, and mm -hmm. rocket scientists. Scientists, yep. We actually have some kids that go on from our program that go on and work for United Launch Alliance, for Lockheed Martin, for SpaceX. I mean, literally, Elon has hired several of our, our interns that have worked with us. So they're putting things in space, but they figure if they can keep this girl safe, and they can keep the rest of my team safe. And, you know, we make great people to go on to work. And, you know, their, their attention to detail is perfection. Um, I think that's the part I'm most proud of, and also giving these young ladies a chance to take that lead position. And, you know, sometimes you're not always the biggest, the baddest, and the boss, but sometimes you've got a good idea, yeah. you know? Oh, so um, it's it's awesome. Now, when you were running, and, and, and when I was with you a lot, your, your 14, it was all female driver, which I always found to be just, just the the greatest <laughs> business plan. i got to give it to Chris, even though yeah. I don't want to compliment him too, too much. much. It's going to go to his head. Too yeah, yeah, well, we got to be careful, Chris. Uh, but it was one of the greatest business plans I think I ever saw was the four different They're all pretty much built the same way, built by the same by the same people. They're crewed by different ones, but you got all female drivers. So even if you're not racing like you did in the IHRA competition, if you're just out match racing, you were bringing in a show that no one else could even compare to. Absolutely. And you know, they'll say, where do you find these girls? And I say, baby, there's so many of these girls that are out there. 
But, you know, we did that for several years. I started out with just myself, and then I brought on this little um, hot shot pilot. Uh, she was five foot tall, full of piss and vinegar. Yes, she was. was. Spicy. Um, she's still out there doing her cool dream, but her dream was to become a corporate pilot. And so every reason for us for her contract, she left, and she, now she's gone. She's off in the island all the time. With that, that rodeo husband. That's it. That's it. Um, you know, but we, we give them a shot to kind of go out there and see if this is what it takes. And, you know, I always tell people, we all have we all have one life. We all get 24 hours in a day, right? What are you going to do with yours? And these girls and these guys, yeah. these young kids, are they're making the most of every single but we did change our business model up. We had this old guy, Dwayne Hill. Um, he'd been with us for eight years, and you know he was the guy that was pushing the room in the background. He was the guy that was dusting the cars off. He was the guy that was driving the rigs. Always there, always in the background, always working real hard. And all of a sudden, one day when the uh, position came open, a seat came open, he says, "Would you ever consider me?" And I'm like, "Well, why not? If I, I mean, I have to consider you." How do you look in a skirt? Yeah, no. But you know that man. He's More years than either one of us would like yeah. to remember from when it was just you, Chris, and, and your original sponsors, and I've worked all the way through to where you are now. It's just amazing. Like I said, I, I, I was honored enough of, uh, to, to be involved and watch you win two world championships. Always, always exciting. Oh, no, and people thought because we were one team, we were laying down. I don't know. You, I, I don't know if you saw the battles at the end of the track, but I'm going to tell you the paws were out. And us girls, we don't cap fight, man. We come out punching yeah, when I, we didn't win. <laughs> I can tell you from being there that no, there wasn't. There wasn't. Well, the ladies who lost, so we got to lay down. No, there was none of that between tuning the cars, between running the cars. It was a battle, all the way to the top end. And yeah, there was times we got to the top end that you know they they may not have come to total blows, but uh, there there was names thrown around. And uh, what did you do? And, but then they went back to the pitch, and the fans come along, and they're one big happy family. That's like, like anything. You can see uh, Jack Wyatt and, and Peanut. Chrissy, they're here this weekend. They've known each other for, forever. But when they get up on the line, they both can say, I don't know. Visor goes down. I don't care who is over in the other lane. Yeah. That's, that's the enemy. That's one I'm taking out. It's my job. I am paid to cross that finish line first, and yep. whoever I have to take out to do it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You know? So you know, but it's it's been an honor, and you know, Tash, you've taught me a lot. Um, you know, we would come out here to the World Series, and you would take me around and take me to all the radio shows and do some TV shows and stuff like that. And you showed me what it took. took. That just going down the quarter mile, that's great. But you got to get people interested. You know, you got to set that hook. Unless you can talk, boy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You got to be able to pitch it. <laughs> you taught this young farm girl from Michigan a lot about how to present herself and how to do a good interview. So I appreciate all the info you have. Oh, for me. thank you, thank you. Oh, I, I bless you. No one can see me. The spirit of blessing. Speaking of which, I'm a great. I, I, I know when you're up at uh, up in uh, Brainerd, you know, I saw the article in the newspaper. From Mennonite. What a fan! Yeah, what a fantastic <laughs> article it was. Yep. I read it and I'm just smiling. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, I know that girl. Yeah, yeah. Just kind of having fun. It was, it was, it was a really great article. Well, I know you probably got a lot going on. Um, yep, you know, we got to race two today, and, and you got to go see the fans and everything. I appreciate you stopping by and talking with us for a little bit here. And uh, of course, we'll all be cheering for you. Come on out if, if you're out here. Just go by the pit area. They are, mm -hmm. without a doubt, one of the most welcoming crews you will ever find. Well, yeah, and they'll we, bring you in. They'll teach you everything you want to know. And maybe it, stick it, you crawling great. up in the pipe if you got little hands and pin tight and little screws. Yep, you know, yep, yep. Get you oh in. yeah, that'll, that'll be happy. Yeah. You know, that's how Chris is. He calls it volunteer. <laughs> yeah, I know. Time. Volunteer. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not that high. Yeah, yeah. You know, we get to honor Diamond Jim. You know, there's oh, a lot of them. Yeah. We we lost Doug Rose just a couple you know, weeks ago. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's wild. Such an awesome race. 
place is that you don't forget how we got here. And you know, this track doesn't forget about the legends that have been out here. To me, I was sit I'm sitting in a chair that Big Daddy and Shirley Muldowney has just sat in. Do you know what that means to this old farm girl? What it this means to me, actually, I mean, I, I, I've known him for years and to hear this present to be in here. Yeah, it's... That's Big Daddy. You know, and I know that all the newer, cooler, slicker models that get out here from that, but don't ever forget where? how we got where we are. Where and, 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 yep. and, and, and you mentioned, yeah, the, the, <laughs> the great Diamond Jim uh, Crown Art is going into the the book too is going in the Hall of Fame this yep. weekend. But uh, yeah, he was a character when it came to I seen him upside down in a jet car a couple of times. Yeah, I, seen, I seen him upside down in his funny car a couple of times. Yeah. I I actually had a little hiccup and you know, he was he was one of the guys that I would call to get advice from because you know, you get some of these guys, they know more than yeah. what it is just to get a race car down there. They know when you're the hero and you're the hero. And, and they've all been there. They've all been there. It was just that's what he go. always say. Because what are you so stressed over? Let it go. We, we were talking the other day, uh, me and actually Laura Gardner were talking, and, and we were trying to figure out, trying to remember that line. He told everybody, well, just let it go, just let it go. Like, that's what it was. I said, well, it's either that or there's only 10 people on my guest list. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or or I know where to find that. Uh -huh. <laughs> he was, he, was, he could always do it. Yeah, he was, he was, he was quite something. Well, I'll let you go on again. I appreciate you stopping by and Absolutely. talking with us. We'll be cheering, uh, everybody cheering you on tonight. Uh, 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 you know, Doug, I'm sure he's a nice guy, but, uh, you know. He's, he's going down. Yeah. That's it, right. He can tell me what my tailpipe looks like. There, there yeah. Really See, that, that's how it's going. Where's Chris? He does. Trust me. Yeah, he can hear me. <laughs> Again, thanks so much for stopping by. And uh, fans, come on out. Stop by their pit area. I think right in the middle of the. We're right in the middle of the action. You can't miss them. Stop down and see them and say hello to them. You're going to have a great time. Okay, thanks, Randy. Appreciate it. We'll be back with you in a little while.